Hello, advanced news reporting class. This is Dr. Shelley Rodrigo. I'm another faculty member in the department, and this video is just to help you get started with your class WordPress blog. So, um, it has a longer URL, however, we shortened it so it would be easy for you all to get to. So, the shortened URL starts with bit.ly, B I T dot L Y, again, B I T dot L Y, and then E N G L. 483, that's your course, ENGL 483, and then F12, standing for Fall 12, uh, 2012 semester. When you click that, you get the longer URL, and it takes you to your WordPress blog. Now, I know it looks a little boring, but we left it that way because we're hoping over the class that you all will make it interesting. Hopefully there's a few WordPress gurus out there, and if not, you all will be by the end of the semester. So, the first thing that you all need to do is to scroll down down here in the lower right hand corner where it says meta there's a register so you will click register and you will put in a username and an email folks it's really important that you put in your correct email so double and triple check this before you send it so make sure your email is correct no typos and then click register What's going to happen is the WordPress site is going to send you an email with a starter password. So now you need to log on and go to your email and go get the password. Now that you have your password, you should be able to log in. I suggest you probably, um, it was probably a long ugly password, you probably just want to copy and paste it so you don't have to try to rewrite it. So log in. There we go. This is called the dashboard. It's kind of the back end of WordPress and where you will do most of your work. I'm going to dismiss this. Um, what you're going to at least start with, what's the core of uh, a blog, is posts. And that's what you're going to do tonight. You have an assignment tonight that you're going to have to go collect information and image and then come back and post it. So let's practice a new post. Click post. And up here, there's add new, or on the left, add new. Uh, Click add new. Now, one, you always want to make sure your post has some kind of title or think of it as a headline. Uh, and then um, I know for tonight's assignment that you need to include a picture. I find that it's easier to first have the text in there and uh, then to put the image. Now, I also find, folks, working in WordPress means you're working over the internet. And if you are typing, 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 and it doesn't save, and then your internet connection glitches for some reason, you will have lost all your work. So I highly, highly suggest that you do all of your typing of your copy um, on your computer on a word processor like Microsoft Word first. Do spell checking first. Do all of that. And then actually just cut and paste text over to... Um, WordPress. So once you have your text in, then you want to add your image. So up here above the toolbar, the text formatting toolbar, there's upload insert, and that's where you put in all the media. In this case, you all should have an image that you have somehow gotten to the computer. Um, that depends on what devices you have. I can't uh, troubleshoot that from here, um, but hopefully you've got your image to your computer. Uh, then you want to select files from the computer, and that's the same as um, attaching an email. So the picture should show up. Now, if you keep scrolling down, some things to consider. Alternate text. You should probably always put alternate text. That's an accessibility um, issue. It's for screen readers, so describe what it is. And the more detailed the description, the better. Um, now, the important thing is, notice here, alignment. Most of the time, you probably want the text to wrap around the picture. I find usually either I want it left aligned or right aligned. In this case, I'm putting left. You also, in a lot of cases, probably especially with the pictures you took tonight, you probably don't want full size. Those are probably really large pictures. So you might want to think about a smaller size of the image. In this case, I'm putting thumbnail and then I'm going to insert it into the post. Voila, I have my image, I have my text wrapped around it. So, you would think at this point I'm ready to post. 
one last thing for you to consider. Um, blogs with a lot of posts get very unorganized very quickly. So there's two major strategies um, used to organize posts and blogs. First, there's categories. Uh, and notice in this case, we right now have the category of in the news and then uncategorized. For this particular assignment, you're not using a category, but uh, the in the news assignment, Dr. Hoffman will mention to you. Um, for this particular assignment, you're using tags. I don't remember the exact tag. I want to say it's something like gallery. Um, so you'll need to put the tag. Now, this is important. In all your posts, you either should be putting some form of tag or some type of categories. I find that tags, even if you have assigned tags, you might want to put tags um, based on the content as well. But as a class, you'll talk that over and decide how you handle that. So now that I've either categorized it or tagged it, and again, remember for this class, you will almost, well, I'm pretty confident to say you will always need to do one or the other. Now that that's there, I'm going to hit publish. Okay, so if we go up here to the left-hand corner, where the title of it is. If we hover over the title, we get a view site. So let's go view the site. Wow, the new post is at the top of the site. Notice that it shows that it's posted and uncategorized because we didn't put, pick a category. It is tagged with gallery. And because I'm the one who made the post, I have the ability to click edit. Over here in the right-hand uh, menu, there's now a tag thing that says gallery. And if we click on that, it comes up without that other post, the Hello World. And as you all add your assignments tonight, they will all show up under gallery as long as you've tagged them appropriately. Uh, I just want to end that you can always edit these. And I know part of the plan is that you'll you'll submit work and then you'll um, and then you'll uh, get feedback and you'll go edit. You can edit it either by finding the actual article and then clicking edit, or if you go back to the dashboard and if you go to posts, all the posts will slowly stack up here, and you can find them that way. Uh, last but not least, I do want to add tonight. This um, website is public and viewable, so you all can um, make your accounts and uh, log in without trouble and get started. After tonight, I'll be making this uh, website private so no one can see it except your class because you'll have to log in to see it and uh, realize that that's for your protection in terms of keeping your work private as you work on it for the class. However, and again, this is something you, your class, your instructor in your class will decide exactly when and where and how it happens. But some point later in the class, you will take the site public or sections or, or, or areas of the site public. I uh, look forward to seeing what you all produce for this class, and uh, I hope this helped to get you, get you started, got you started. It's early morning for me. <laughs>